Crafters, this is Brett Lund with Robert's Crafts for another Try It Thursday. Today we're going to be making these two super fun, easy little boxes using the Sizzix scoreboard dies. Uh, this one right here, this is um, a nice little box that is perfect size for gift cards. And then this one right here is another little fun box with a flap on the front that makes a really nice size for maybe a treat, maybe some nuggets, or some candy, something like that. The uh, paper that I used was from We Are Memory Keepers called the Fun Fetty Line, and uh, we'll just kind of take it from there. Okay, so with the Sizzix scoreboard dies, this is what um, the package looks like. This one, um, as you can see, um, this is the box rectangle. It actually cuts two pieces in your. Um, in your mat board. Now the concept behind the scoreboard dies is, is it will cut your die out and then on these lines some lines it'll cut and some lines it will score and uh, then with this one you'll just go ahead and piece it together to make the flap. Now the great thing about the scoreboard dies is, is they say that they like to cut most score and most chipboard and mat board. Uh, I tried this with paper, it really didn't work. The scoreboard dies are really, really uh, fun to play with using mat board. Now you may say, well, what is mat board? Mat board basically is that mat um, paper that they use for framing that makes a mat. So you can go to any framing store, Robert's Craft sells sheets of mat board. You can buy it there, you can buy it in a small sheet, you can buy it in a large sheet. You can also use chipboard. So the two projects that I'm doing today, I used mat board. Okay. The other one that we're using is this one right here. And this is actually the one, the project that we'll be making today. This is the bag with the scallop flap with the flowers. Now with this project, this is what it looks like. It does cut out two flowers. I am not using the flowers for this project. Um, but um, let me show you what the mat, what the, what the scoring thing looks like. Now you can kind of see the design right here. It's kind of, you know, um, a little bit hard to see, but there is actually a steel ruler in there. Now the concept behind this is, is like I said, this is to cut mat board. Um, with the steel ruled dies, they are usually made to cut of various types of material. Now the thing that you want to remember with this is, is uh, I used the Sizzix Vagabond with this. You could also use the Big Shot. So those are the two options that you can use to cut this out. So let me show you how I did it. Okay. The first part is, is, is what I did is I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, just like this, and I ran it through my Zion, Zyron uh, Kratopia. And then what I did is, is I cut it into two 6 by 12 sheets. Now you could cut this into, you could leave it into one sheet and then mount it onto your mat board and then cut that in half or you can cut it just like this. Now why do I cut this? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this onto my mat board and then the paper is completely covered with the mat board. That way I don't have to go back and re-glue the paper down. Okay, so in this case, we'll take this sheet. Now remember with Sizzix, what Sizzix does, um, excuse me, what, what Zyron does is Zyron basically makes um, whatever um, item you have into an adhesive sheet. And so all we've done is, is um, I have made this, so this is, this is tacky. And then all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put it on our board. Okay, so it looks like that. So we're gonna make sure that it's nice and pressed down tight. And then we will go ahead and do our Vagabond. Now this is the Vagabond. I have another video on showing how to use this, so I'm really not going to explain how to use it. But we want to remember we put one pad in the, in the bottom, then we're going to put our, um, our die, and then we're going to put the paper face down. And you want to make sure that it um, goes over. And then you take your other mat and you slide it on top. Then you're going to take both of this, and I like just to double check it, slide it in all the way, and now we're going to go ahead and start cutting. I like to keep my finger right here, and then that makes sure that the pads don't slide around. And then we go ahead and pull it out. Let's set our Vagabond out of the way. 
And then basically with this, this is what our image is. Now you can see where the scores are as well as the cutting. Okay. So then what we want to do is, is all we're going to do is we're just going to fold it. See how nice and crisp that folds? We're going to fold it in the score marks. Now, I'll be honest, I have tried this with a little bit thicker material, and it really doesn't work that well. So what I usually like to do is I like to get just a basic standard mat board, and then I like to go ahead and do an example, a, a, um, try it first, before I um, start making them. So we've... Um, we've scored everything, and then my favorite tape to use is the uh, Terrifically Tacky Tape from Art Accents, actually also from Provo Craft, so uh, any double stick tape works. And then all we're going to do is, is I'm going to put tape right here on this edge and tape right here on this edge, and then I'll start to assemble the box. Okay, so there we have it, and then our lid goes right over the top. Super easy, super fun, and the cool thing is, is the paper is already stuck to the mat board, so it looks like the paper was originally made for this project. Super easy. Then you could put a piece of Velcro, you could put a magnet there, or in my example, all I did was just take some ribbon and tie on a tag. So it makes it so you can just slide the, t slide the ribbon off and then you have your box. Now with this one, it's very similar to that one, except this one is cut in two pieces. So let me show you how we made that. Okay, with this one, what we did is, is we cut it and it actually cuts in two pieces like that. So I'll turn you around and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, this one is the rectangle and then this one right here, this happens to be the lid. So what I like to do with this is, is I put a double stick tape on here. Okay, so there is our box. And then it has the hinge on the back right here, so that's what keeps it closed. And then once again, you could put a piece of Velcro, you could put the magnets, or in my case, all I did was just tie a ribbon across it. So, there are your two boxes for today. The Using the Sizzix Vagabond and the Sizzix Scoreboard dies, you can find these as well as many other projects uh, at your local Roberts Craft store, or also they are found in on our, on the web www.robertscrafts.com. And until then, happy crafting.